right, guys, I thought I'd just give you a video on this uh, little guy that I just picked up. This is a Honda HT3813. This is the twin cylinder liquid cooled version. So it's got a 13 horsepower engine. You can see there's a fan radiator all in there. So it's a pretty awesome little um, engine. Um, I'm just quick update. I bought this thing off to Gigi for a really good deal. Um, the guy said it had ran last uh, year. But I had no luck at it going, so um, I ended up, it wouldn't turn over, so I had to take the starter out. And as you can see, the starter is really down in there. So basically, you have to take the whole engine out. Um, so you remove it off the engine blocks, which are actually rubber, which is neat. So uh, you remove the engine, and then you have to remove the timing belt cover. Like, this is just a shroud that covers the timing belt and flywheel. Then you have to remove the flywheel, and then you can remove two bolts that hold on the starter. And then this engine mount also comes off along with that. So I basically took the starter apart. Um, the brushes were uh, arcing onto, I guess it's armature. Or the, I forget which one it is. Armature or commutator. But they were arcing. And so um, we threw it on my grandpa's lathe and just cleaned up. I guess, cl yeah, cleaned up the armature. And then um, put it back in and works great. Turns it over. Um, so put that all back together. Um, wouldn't start, kept flooding, kept flooding, and so I decided I'll replace the spark plugs, just you never know, right? So I'll replace the plugs, um, still wouldn't start. Then I went and I, I don't even know what I did with this. I think what, sh the only thing I can noticeably remember doing is, um, I adjusted the needle in the float, on the float, that stops the gas coming into the bowl. I don't know why that would, uh, keep it or make it run better but uh, it actually ran and my problem now that it's running is it'll only run at it idle so it's at full throttle here it only idle speeds um, you can see the throttles in the full position and if you look it, you can't see right now but the butterfly valve is all the way open in the carb here, I'll show you um, so I have no idea what the problem is I'm assuming it's not getting fuel but also when one thing I forgot to check when I had the shroud um, off for over the timing belt was to check if the timing belt was in the correct position. So um, I'm going to end up taking it out again. And I think I'll replace the timing belt because it's only like 35 bucks and mine's pretty chipped. Or like it's not in the best shape. So it wouldn't hurt to replace it. Anyway, I don't. you probably can't see in there. But the butterfly valve for the uh, throttle is fully open. Um this is just the choke here but yeah the one for the throttle is fully open and it's still it won't run above idle speed it runs great at the idle speed but it won't run above that so um that's the problem i'm trying to figure out now uh i'm gonna end up i'm gonna take the carp off for a third time and clean out all these all the little jets and everything again whatever all this stuff on the top is i'll take it all out clean it out with wire and carb cleaner put it back on see if i can get it to run at full speed um, also, one more thing about this, the battery I have isn't really strong enough to turn it over uh, with the PTO clutch engaged, so I just clip the clutch down, and there's a safety switch, you just push that in with the screwdriver, then you can turn it over, but um, my PTO clutch actually is missing one of the brake pads, uh, but I, I tested it, and it does still hold, so um, that's a good thing, I, cause I don't want to replace that because it's really expensive. Parts for this thing are ridiculous, but um, the the tranny also is in good shape. Uh, it works great. The buzzer works for when the emergency brakes on and you try and put it into gear. Um, the light for the parking brake works. Like all all this stuff works. Um, the only thing that's annoying is the throttle cable is really sticky. Like it won't. Yeah, it doesn't go out. Um, it's way better than it was. I kind of put some. What is it? Something down it. I forget what it was. But, oh yeah, Penafite. Uh, I put some Penafite oil um, down that, and it's way better than it was before. But uh, it's still not very good. So I still got to get that worked out. But um, relays and fuses, they're all good. Uh, it has lots of coolant. The coolant was pretty good. Um, the oil's not it's there, but it's a little dirty. So I have to change that and change oil filter. And then the headlights work great um, only thing is you can see it got 
uh, bashed in, it looks like, and replaced with a piece of plastic, which is no big deal, I guess. But they work. So the last part of this, I guess, would be the deck. And it looks to be in pretty good shape, which is... Uh, I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't. But uh, we got the deck here. It's a little bit of, like, surface rust and stuff, but, like, it's all solid. And it turns over easy by hand. So I'll just put a bit of oil on there, on, like, the bearings and stuff. And then I need one more bolt for the chute. And um, I'm going to probably... Uh, take a wire wheel on the drill under to the underside of this thing um, to clean it up and then I'll uh, paint it underneath with oil maybe and on this rust on top here I'll paint it with uh, like trim clad paint to stop the rust so other than like this yeah so that's pretty much my more um, so all I have to do now basically is get this thing where it will run at full speed it doesn't like it's not even it's like it's not like it's running rich or anything it just like it just won't throttle up so I'm pretty sure it's a uh, fuel issue it's not getting enough fuel oh and the other curious part about that problem the you see I got the air breather off and the air filter cover it won't run with the breather on it'll run with this little this little breather here but it won't run with this one on that they won't run when it's attached to the air filter, so I, I have no idea why that is, but I'll figure it out eventually. If you have any ideas on why that is, uh, just comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.